Digital Pets Mainframe website, you'll want to click on the Inventory tab over here, which will take you to this screen. Now one thing you'll notice as you look at my screen is a high amount of gene and key. Please note that this is a test account. The gene and key and energy that you see on this are fake, not real, so that's why you're seeing such high numbers. You will see the amount of gene and key and energy that you actually have in your own wallet when you go to this website. So when you log in to this website, you'll click Log in with Wallet. It will ask you if you haven't already put it in, what type of wallet you're planning on using. Mine happens to be a phantom wallet, but you'll use whatever type of wallet you have. Once you've chosen the type of wallet, you'll see the screen and you'll need to approve the transaction. So note that the transaction does require a small transaction fee, so make sure that you do have some Solana in your account when you in your wallet when you do this. So I'm going to click on approve. That will connect me and will take me to the inventory site. You'll notice it'll take me straight to the landlording site. In this test account, I do have uh, habitats here, but in your account, what you're going to want to click on is the harvesting tab right here. When you click on that tab, it'll take you to the screen. And as a renter for GOE, you will only see one habitat here, um, not more. Uh, and the reason you only see one habitat, even though you'll actually be renting two habitats from us, most likely, is that you'll be assigned a primary habitat and a sub-habitat, and only the primary habitat shows up on the harvesting and renting page. So as you look at this habitat, there's a few things to notice. This is a level one habitat. It's a wood habitat. You can see the total key that has been harvested from this habitat so far. You can see the uh, wallet of your landlord. It'll be the Go wallet, the GOE wallet when, when you see that. Um, and uh, you can also see that you'll see the percentage of key harvested from this habitat um, that you earn. So in this case, as a GOE renter, you'll earn 20% of the key that you harvest from this habitat. If we scroll down a bit, you'll see some buttons here. There's a harvest key button, which you can use to harvest the key from your habitat each day. You can see the convert energy button. You probably won't use this one very often because this allows you to convert key back into energy, which most likely you're not going to want to do. But if you do, you can do that from this button. And then there's also a view details button. We're gonna click on that for now. This will take you to a page which gives you more information about the habitat that you are renting. Again, you can see it's a level one habitat. It's wood habitat. It has an 84 day lifespan left. Again, you can see the landlord wallet and the total key that has been harvested from this habitat so far. If we scroll down, you can see the amount of energy you have in your game account. You'll see your own harvester wallet and again the percentage of key that you'll earn when you harvest from this, from this habitat. There's also um, a few buttons here. Pending harvest, we will look at more closely in just a bit, but that's how you see the harvest that you, that you have already made and that are pending, waiting for you. Then there's also the harvest key button, we'll use that in just a second, and again the convert energy button. But for now we're going to click on the harvest key button, and it will take you to this screen. This is a really important screen, and so please make sure you're paying good attention during this section so you know how to use the screen. The first thing that you'll see here is your daily harvesting cap. Right now it says 66 out of 66 key, that's because we have not yet harvested for the day, so you have all 66 key so far, uh, all 66 key left to harvest. And there's 66 key to harvest as we cap on this set of habitats because this is two level one regular habitats that you're renting. The first thing you want to do on the screen is choose the withdrawal time or lock period for the key that you are harvesting. You can choose 7 days, 10 days, or 14 days. We are going to strongly encourage you to choose 14 days, and I will show you why here. So if we go back to 7 days, you'll see here that the max energy that you need to use in order to harvest all 66 key is almost 7,000 energy. That is a lot of energy and a lot of steps. If we change that to 10 days, you'll see that it's now 
about 44,600 energy. That's a big difference. And if we go down to 14 days, it's now 3,300. That is much less. And so when you use 14 days, that will leave you with much more energy that you can use to do things like leveling up your pet, nurture your pet, and explore other areas of the game where you need energy. Once you've chosen the withdrawal time, that lock period for your key, you'll want to click on the max button. That will fill in the amount of energy that you need to use to harvest all 66 key for that day. We're then going to click on the harvest key button at the bottom, and this will bring up another transaction to sign. Again, you'll notice that there is a small amount of Solana that you have to pay, so again, please make sure that you do keep some Solana in your account. We're going to click Approve, wait for the transaction to process, and now we have a success message. We can claim the key tokens in 14 days, and we can view pending items to see the harvest status and claim it.